I'm going to take a look at the LifeRay DXP LifeRay 7 patching tool. I've currently got LifeRay DXP Enterprise Edition Service Pack 1 installed. Now, to patch this, so I can install the uh, uh, the Audience Zing 2 engine, which needs um, it needs at least fix pack 11. So, uh, from the LifeRay uh, customer portal, if you log on there, you can uh, get access to uh, various various bits of software including the patching tool which is here and fix packs now we've got fix pack 12 is available so I want to patch my life ray with fix pack 12 first thing to do is stop your, fi your uh, life ray server um, so we download the tool and uh, it's in the download directory, it's just a zip file. I'm installing that into uh, the into the life ray install directory directly. Seems to be a Windows bug, which whenever I open up a zip, it slows down the uh, Explorer. So here's Life Enterprise, and uh, there already is a patching tool. They say just copy over the top of the current patching tool. So we'll do that. I'll do that. Now uh, do this for everything. Okay, we should have the patching tool installed. Let's go to the patching tool directory. And uh, I'll run, you can either run the batch or the, uh, as I've got SigWin installed, I can run the uh, shell, shell script. Here we go, what's it say? Just gives a bit of information. Version 205, so that's correct version. So what they say you need to do is in the patching tool, patches directory, copy your patch. Again, the patch is I need to go to the downloads directory, so I'm uh, so there's my fixed pack. There's also source ones for patching source. So let's copy there we go. From patching tool again. Okay, and I think you just give the uh, install command to install. There's some database index modifications. And first thing to have a look at is uh, what happened uh, if there's any database operations that were placed. You can do it with this command, patching tool index info. And it says sub patches create new index in the database. Okay. These are, there are four of them. So it's creating indexes on layout and on layout set. Now the patching tool can't create these. Um, these uh, indexes itself. Um, so what we have to do is tell LifeRay to do that when it uh, boots. And we can do that via the global portal hyphen ext properties file. This properties file 
sits in the uh, root directory of the life ray install. Uh, normally it doesn't exist, so we'll create that. Uh, so if I go back here, and uh, you see here we're in the life ray DXP digital enterprise in the uh, root of the uh, life ray file system. And um, I actually created the file earlier. And here we put in, we just copied what uh, what it said. Uh, we put in database index update on startup equals true, and that will create these indexes. So that's done. Ah, the other thing that we have to do is um, we need to remove any files in the work directory. So these are uh, portlets, etc. that have been deployed uh, with the previous uh, um, previous version, on patch version, um, because they'll cause uh, problems or potentially cause problems. So that's in the work directory. Get rid of everything that you find in there. In OSGI state, get rid of everything you find in there as well. That's a uh, state from the previous unpatch version and uh, it won't boot if you don't go rid of those. And just one other thing in the patching tool. So we installed it under the um, the uh, the life installation directory in the root of that directory. And the reason we do that is there's a properties file default, which if I open it up, you'll see it gives the uh, location of the uh, of uh, Tomcat, uh, where it stores its web application archives, where it stores its uh, ext files. So these locations are useful for patching those files, and also where Liferay Home is. So it's all in the it's all specified here. If you install the patching tool somewhere else, you'll need to modify these values. So that's default properties. Uh, that should be good to go then. So let's um, go into Tomcat bin and run the startup command. And it, on my computer anyway, it's uh, got a fair bit of deployment to do because um, it's redeploying portlets, uh, themes, etc. And uh, it's also got to do some validation. So you can expect it to take about four minutes. So here you see after about um, 240 seconds, six minutes, it's booted. Be quicker next time. And uh, we're in the welcome page. So I'll... If we go back here to the logs, We see that um, in the logs it actually tells us that we've installed the patch that we just did. That's good. Um, it uh, patch 12. It uh, doesn't say anything here. It still says we're on uh, 7010. Uh, so uh, and it's the same here. It doesn't tell us we've installed this patch. Just tells us on 7010. You put the uh, get that information somewhere about what patches are installed, as are being shown in the log. Uh, it's a shame it doesn't say what patches are installed here on the on the welcome page. Anyway, hopefully uh, that will get you started with patching uh, with the patching tool. It's patching tool two zero two zero five.